<laughs> Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Share, Share my, my screen. screen, please. Allow, Allow me. me to share my screen. Done. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Dr. Ibati Zabdon Kimaro from Kilimanjaro, Tanzania. Today is a special day in the world. It is World Environmental Day. This is because to ensure people around the world, they take care about environment. We are here in Tanzania round table with a student that is a future generation, teachers, and the environment initiatives. So before I go to the session, we need to talk thing about them of today. Them of the World Environment Day, June, 5, 2024, is say about land restoration, certification, and doubt reliance. Yeah. We need to talk about the Tanzania. But before about Tanzania, thank you, IAU, for this opportunity to give us this session to talk all together, discuss it together. Thank you so much. Tanzania is the amount of African country. We are in East Africa, and our president is the Honorable President Samia Sulu Hassan. And in Tanzania, we have many attraction national parks. We have the highest mountain in Africa, name is Kilimanjaro. Also, we have uh, a big national park, Serengeti National Park. We have uh, Gorongoro Crater. We have uh, Indian Ocean, Zanzibar. Also, we have a neighbor. We have Kenya. We have Uganda. We have Rwanda. We have Burundi, Democratic of Congo. We have Zambia and Malawi. All is our neighbor. Tanzania, we have uh, deal with agriculture. We deal with the uh, mining. We have uh, Tanzanite mineral. In this world is all in Tanzania. 
we have gold, we have diamond, and the other mineral. We have national parks, more than 15 national parks. So after saying that, I would like to say happy environment today. And now before to others, I want to start with the future generation. Future generation, how are you? I'm fine. Can you explain to us about the environment, world environment today? Yes. You're welcome. Happy environment. I'm future generation representative. I'm going to talk about activities in primary schools. Activity number Uh, and hello everybody happy environment day i'm damas urenge headmaster of Mireni primary school so i'm going to talk uh, actually as a, a teacher especially on activities that he can help to improve and restore uh, our environment, especially at school level. I think Joshua and the early who are the future generation will have a lot of questions to ask us as teachers and parents, what are our responsibilities in educating them on how to uh, conserve their environment. But first of all, as a teacher, we have the duty to provide education to the students. We have a duty to empower them uh, in three areas, in three main areas. Cognitive domain, that means and giving them knowledge on how to preserve the environment. We also uh, develop their skills in doing green planting, doing green fields. And other and activities. But also, also have the have duty to develop, develop their behavior, their, their attitude, attitude towards, towards uh, preserving the environment, environment, especially in tree planting. Also, also, we have a duty to, to supervise them, them, examine them, them, educate them, them, and show the importance of protecting our environment. environment. We also show them. The, the activity, activity which are done by human beings that will destroy our environment and our ecosystem. So, so I think now, I think now before, before I go far, I, I allow, I allow now the future generations, generations, generations uh, to, give uh, to give their thoughts on the environment, environment and then would like to hear like them what are their perspectives and so that he. Uh, we can continue with the, our wonderful session.
happy environment today. I'm future generation representative. I'm going to talk about activities in primary schools. Activity number one, organize a tree planting, even where students can plant and learn about local flora. And the second is on the importance of ecosystem with visual, with visual aids and interactive sessions. Number three is arrange and uh, arrange an art competition where children can draw, paint, and their vision of health environment. And teach and, and parents, can I ask you one question? In what condition are you planning us for future generation to inherit environment? Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for your good question. In fact, your question could arise due to the problems that uh, you have seen uh, happening on our planet Earth. Yeah? Mainly, these are activities of human beings, especially when doing various activities like the mining, like in industries, economic uh, infrastructure networks, and many other things. So, what are our teachers' parents, and what are kind of conditions that uh, we can develop so is we can not see the activities going on. First of all, we need a lot of community awareness. Second, as young children, you are the future makers of the world. So we would like to encourage you that the mistakes that the parents have done to cut trees and do a lot of deforestations uh, should be uh, reciprocated by we as parents working together with you plant various uh, floras in order to maintain the balance of the system. Also, uh, in our policy and the curriculum implementation, we really emphasize and teach the children, like you, the importance of protecting your environment. For instance, in my school, I have developed some micro policies and some philosophies. I sometimes tell the young children like you, Whenever you see a tree, whenever it plants, why? Because without the plants, you can't get food, neither can we get air. And in fact, if you remove all the flora on the planet Earth, then all people will die, all animals will die. Thank you so much. Thank you this so much. About the, this is future. about the future uh, at the primary level. Uh, at the primary level. Uh, I would like uh, to, I would like to, to show something here. Yeah. To show something here. Yeah. Environments. Environments. When you talk about when you talk about environment, have a have a something to. Something to we have some. We have some example. Example. This is the Tanzania, Tanzania National Park. National Park. Especially, Especially this is the Ngeti National, National Park. Park. So, so without the a good environment, environment, this is the this is wild the animal. animal. Wild animal. Without, without the right, the animal, right this will the animal was not there. Let's go to secondary. 
future in secondary level. Okay, happy environment day. I am future generation secondary school representative. And my suggestion to be done in activities for secondary school, number one is to host a debate or essay competition on topics related to the US team. The activity number two, it's to plan a school-wide cleanup campaign to collect and properly dispose of litter around the school premises so as to make the environment clean for everyone to enjoy it. So the activity number three is to conduct science projects focusing on sustainable practices like recycling or composting. This will motivate students to innovate new things which may keep our environment clean and also it may run human idle resources so as to create more talented people who can preserve our environment for future generations. Mm, Mr. Makisa, mm -hmm. how are you? I'm doing fine. How are you today? <laughs> environment today. Yeah, happy environment today, guys. Mm. You're welcome um, to speak to us. Thank you. Um, as I've uh, been introduced there, uh, Mr. Makisa, a teacher and a, um, yeah. uh, yes, as I've been introduced uh, by Mr. El Bahati Kimaro, I'm a teacher and also a volunteer coordinator for Jenny Goodion Roots and Shoots. Yeah, happy environment, guys. So, why are we celebrating the World Environment Day? As it was said before, uh, just to add some things, just like we are celebrating the World Environment Day uh, to make sure that we raise awareness uh, to the people on how to save and take care of the environment. And the world because the world is the only planet that we have that we were given just like as a gift by God to live on. Um, so what we are doing as teachers, as uh, volunteers, is to make sure that our students, the community get education on how to conserve the environment. For example, uh, to open up the environmental clubs, the clubs which will be giving students and the community members education on how to take care of the environment. Um, just to add a few things uh, that the secondary students can do, for example, students from secondary school can make the surveys, different surveys, can make different surveys to make sure that they come out with the results which will help the cleanup, as he said, uh, the young generation, Yeshua. The cleanups can be done in different uh, seasons of the year. And these cleanups can be done in different places like forest, markets, and they can go together with the education that you collect and you talk to the people that 
they have to keep environment clean. They have to make sure that they protect the world and make it a better place for all living things. Recycling is also one among the things that can be done by secondary students. Why recycling? In the recycling, we can deal with uh, plastic materials. You know, plastic is now a challenge all over the world. And it can be, when, when you throw plastic on land, it can stay more than 100 years without decaying if it doesn't decompose. Yeah. Yeah. We recycle the plastics. For example, here in Moshi, Kilimanjaro, uh, with the help of uh, Mr. Kimaro, uh, the Green Manjaro, the Roots and Shoots, we have established a recycling plant at the J. Kenyerere Secondary School. And the, this recycling plant is taking all the plastic materials. For example, when we, when, when we do the cleanups, we take the plastics from the trashes. So we separate the, the plastics, we take them to the recycling plant to recycle. So you come out with another material that you can use instead of leaving it on land. Yeah. One more thing, uh, as teachers, we use to teach our students on how to think and come up with the policies that can be used to minimize or reduce the environmental destruction. For example, they can come up with policies like selecting one month and create a policy like no waste. Maybe it can be November. Now, if they say no waste in November, what are they doing? It is to make sure that they reduce. If it is to use the plastic, they do, they do not use the plastic, they do not use the straws, and things like that. Yeah. Thank you. Asante san. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Asante san means thank you so much. Very language. So let's go to this picture. Some sort of all living learning. This is a simple definition. Uh, according to the old day, future generation, be the future. Let's say before. Uh, uh, for human activities of infrastructure, agriculture, the world was like this. But after human activities, let's decide you can see an activity which is harmful for farmers. So when we talk about the environment, you can see this very type of picture. The future desire for us as parents to make sure when we are living in the earth planet, we do something like this green picture. It's not like the harmful. Oh, generation. That's right. That's right. How about the second that? That's right. Can we see something? What is it? Um, um, according to this picture. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> according to according to this picture, um, we can see the arid environment and the good-looking environment on the right side. Um, 
from what we can comment on this picture is that on the left side, the environment is affected by many, many things which happen like climate change, deforestation, and many other bad things which are happening. But on the good side, we see that the environment is cons consistently conserved and it is significantly kept well. Yes. Uh -huh. Let's go agriculture activities. People, they go to the litigation forest and reserve area, cut it down tree and make a, a farm. But after a few, according to the climate change, many things happen in the many areas around the world. They face these type, types of the picture here. So when we talk about the environment, we touch in agriculture. When you go another picture, you can see that natural vegetation and the, the impact of global warming. People go to the forest and cut down trees. Make preparation for this day. Yes, I think the uh, parents and the teachers, uh, and my female teachers, just say to think twice because sometimes you are surprised that even the parents and educated people are still doing activity. can you really teach the future generation not to destroy? Can you hear me? How can we tell the future generation that we need to preserve and conserve our, our environment while they see we elders cutting down trees, while they see people throwing away rubbish or litters? So it's up to we, as parents, leaders, and teachers, to be more responsible by showing an example. Our words, our actions should match those good policies which are geared towards protection and conservation of our land. Think of developed countries. There are so huge industries that emit a lot of uh, uh, smoke or pollution to the atmosphere, which affect the whole world. Because when you talk of ecosystem, when you talk of weather, when you talk of climate, etc., 
it we don't have boundaries like the political boundaries we have. So when one area is affected, the other area is also affected. So it's through our actions, through our words, and through acting and implementing the policies which have already been laid, that's when we can really make a wonderful future for uh, our children, especially in uh, conserving uh, their beautiful land. Mm. Thank you so much. Mr. Damas Mbenge, the head of the school, Seren Primal, motion principal council, and already is among the best school in the academy. Both the government, but like the nation. <laughs> the effects of development can see here is a problem. If you don't care about the government, people lost their lives. People lost many facilities and food due to flooding, earthquake, and sun. damage of different types of infrastructure, such as street, house, Climate change. <laughs> climate change. Before God created the heaven and earth, was not climate change. But now, facing climate change, infrastructure, natural hazard, flooding, many areas around the world. A big rainy, earthquake in the country, first earthquake problems, people die, lost their facilities. That is because you don't care about the problem. Global warming. The impact of climate change. Yeah, I can see, um, Dr. Kimar, um, you, I, I can take you back a little bit. You talked about the agriculture as people are practicing agriculture and whatever. Uh, guys, uh, just to add something on Dr. Kimar's uh, presentation there, a very good presentation. The many people in Tanzania nowadays and in the world at large, they are farming by using the agrochemicals. These agrochemicals can contribute to all this we see today, the environmental the destruction. The um, other human activities like industries can contribute to the global warming because this industry is emitting the smoke, which go directly and destroy the ozone layer. And as a result, we get the global warming. So as teachers and the future generation that we have, the primary students and the secondary students, what we do is to keep on planting more trees. The very uh, good trees which can absorb the carbon so that we can minimize the effects of the global warming. So, what is the The solution take action so that we can live a better life for future generations. For so us future generations, we can inherit the environment is safe to us so as we can continue with mankind, so as the mankind can survive and all the animals which the environment supports supports us all. So 
the conclusion is that we should all take action. Big to young, we are all responsible for preserving our environment. That's why we commemorate this day. In fact, renewable energy, responsible leadership, and actually, uh, and the, uh, how we encourage even the developed countries there yeah, to uh, work hand in hand with the developing countries in ensuring that the projects which are aimed at uh, improving our environment, especially tree planting and reducing the emission of the greenhouse gases, uh, especially uh, the carbon dioxide gases and the other, which actually cause global warming. And also uh, think of developing some projects like the wonderful organization you have that if people and various organizations that are working with common goal to uh, preserve and conserve an environment, if they work together, if they cooperate, and those countries that uh, cause a lot of uh, problem or pollution, they should also think on funding the organization that they are struggling in order to restore our beautiful uh, ecosystem for uh, the betterment of the future generation. So much. How about the future generation, Joy? I am future generation primary school. My conclusion is by celebrating World Environment Day, we can collectively work towards a more sustainable future, ensuring that action we take today will positively affect the planet and future generations. Uh, yes, uh, thank you. My conclusion it is not to stop. Keep protecting the environment. Go on. The activities you do in your area matters. So I call upon all the people around the world to make sure that each day they do the very small, small activities which aim at protecting the world. When we con collect and bring together these small, small activities, we'll find that we have done a big job of making the world a better place for all these things. Thank you. Uh, my conclusion, we need to do something for people. Dear friends, and Saving the Earth planet needs some people, needed the talented people, creative intelligence. Because the damage we have done ourselves, then it is our responsibility to fix the problem ourselves. No, no another world to go. If you want to go another area such as the Mars. It's very expensive. You know, people around the world, a few can go there. But many, many, many can't afford the cost to go to the Mars. So, we need, we need to take step down, think twice. How can you to protect Earth, our mother Earth planet? The Earth planet have uh, like a fat area. Other is ocean and that. And is that percent of the Earth area is the land, but there is a visit, there is a forest, there is a people, there is a wild animal, there are many things that started. And every day we are growing 
animal growing, people growing, eh? infrastructure growing. We see only that is starting. It's better now to think how can we adjust, how can we survive by using that strategy for the So, saving the earth is starting now for the sustainable tomorrow. Earth is starting. And trees, many trees around. We can say this session goes for AU, and we enjoy it together. Let us celebrate together this World Environment Day. Thank you, Mr. Piyush Band, your founder. Thank you so much.